What exists because of you? The thought, huh? What a thought. What exists? Do you feel the energy of that? Everything else is small. The girl doesn't text you back, that's small. What exists because of you? So my whole thing that I've been trying to understand and trying to talk about is the polarity which we've lost in this world of men being men and women being women. The masculine edge of the, the masculine spirit of men is a thrusting nature. It's a penetrative energy. We can't penetrate our women, we can't penetrate our lives, we can't penetrate our businesses, we can't we're like, oh we're apologetic. It's okay, it's good enough. We're beige. We can't penetrate anymore. And I'll say this, it's politically incorrect, and I'll get slammed for it, and I don't care. The energy of women is a receiving energy, to receive that penetration, to receive that masculine energy into the feminine spirit, and to rebirth it, to give it rebirth. The true feminine spirit, which is gone from the earth, just like the true masculine spirit is gone from the earth, the true feminine spirit is a regenerative, life-giving energy. And if you have, and I know you have, if you've ever been in the presence of a woman that has a, just even 10% of that beautiful feminine grace, you'll never forget her till the day you die. Am I right? Some woman that was just kind and gave you of her generous feminine spirit breaks your heart. It breaks your heart. If you make love to a beautiful woman that is way out of your league, quote unquote, who's a beautiful, generous energy of, of receiving your masculine spirit and giving you the rebirth that we crave, if you're in bed with that woman and she gives you that energy, you almost cry. It breaks your heart and is rare as a tiger lily. It's rare. It's a rare spirit. When you make love to a beautiful woman, imagine this, guys, all is forgiven. All the rejections you had, all the mistakes you made talking to women, all the, the mess-ups you made when you thought, it's all forgiven. Everything's forgiven. You reset. That's, like I said, it's politically incorrect. I'll say it. You know, like, like if I worked at a, if I was a professor, I'd lose my tenure. If I was uh, working in a media or something, I'd lose my job. I can't, I can't, so I'll say it. This is the receiving role of women. And there's countless women out there trying to restore that balance too, believe me. You hear all the, this strong feminist, bitchy agenda, and you hear this, all the strong men beating their chest, painting their faces, take back the power from women. That's 20% of the voices, guys. 80% is the silent majority who, of men and women who really want restoration, want, want, a, want a beautiful balance again. Of polarity of men and women. Of this beautiful magnetic energy that attracts. We don't have that. We have sameness. We are all born under this so-called second wave equality movement. And the goal of the equality movement was equality. And we didn't get it. 60 years later, we still don't have equality. We have sameness. Men are more like women, women are more like men. And there's no attraction in that at all. We go to our offices and you have to be eyes front. If you comment, hey, I like you, hey, you look nice today, sexual harassment. You can't even say that. You offended me and I have protection powers to, to to, to, to take a dump on you because of that. Right? So we have to be asexual underneath the fluorescent lights in our offices, asexual, eyes front, everyone's, everyone has no gender, and then you're supposed to turn it on in the weekend when you go out? There you go, <laughs> that's our problem. You can't.